Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to another Ultimate Doom Builder tutorial. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is look at line set portals, and this will be the first of many uh, portal tutorials because there's some pretty cool stuff you can actually do with portals inside of GZ Doom to create, you know, like floors above floors, and just a whole lot of other very cool stuff. Um, but in this one, what we're going to do is we are going to extend this hallway, but we're going to build a portal, I don't know, say down here or not a portal, but another area down here. But it's going to draw like, you know, if you turn around and you just walk this way. So it'll be seamless. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to make a, you know, a, I don't want to say, well, kind of like an entry point. So what we're going to do is hit control shift D. And we're going to drag it out 64 by 192. And this part is not necessarily needed in order for it to work. But cosmetically, um, it, it does look a little better. Now, the next part we're going to need is we're going to need another part. And this is kind of like, mm, I guess you could think of it like the entry point. And... When you're dealing with these kind of uh, portals, you also want to make sure that your floor and ceiling height, at least for, you know, when you're transferring into the portal, uh, is equal. So this is all we have to do for this particular side. And now I'm going to go down here. And just like before, I'm going to make it 64 by 192. And then I am going... Oops, sorry, did that... I did that backwards. Let's do 192. And then let's do 64 by 64. And then we're just going to make a room of adequate size here. That to be a very big room. That's that's perfect. Okay. So now I am going to make sure in line depth mode. So hit L. And I am going to flip this line depth. Because, you know, when you're in this room and you run back out, you want to go this way. Uh, same thing for this. So now we're going to select this line def here. We're going to right click. And for the action, we're going to type in 156. Or you can go over here, select this, search for it, or go down to line. Uh, select line set portal. And you can also pick, uh, you know, from down here. So there's a lot of ways we could do this. So the exit tag is going to be 2. And I'm not going to bother with plane align for right now. I'm just going to leave that as is. And then for the portal type, we have a couple different ones. So we can set it to visual only, which obviously is, well, only for visuals. And then visual plus simple teleporter, which kind of like warps you. But what we want is interactive. Now, as far as the static eternity style, I don't ever use whatever fork that is. So I I'd actually never use that one. Uh, I don't really have much experience with that one, but... There's a description in the and in the description there is a link uh, to this on the wiki because you can actually do uh, line set portals on the hexen format of uh, Doom, not in the original Doom format, but the hexen format. And we'll just set it to interactive, and then we'll hit unuse, which will give it a tag of one, and we'll hit OK. And then when we deselect, you'll notice that the line is now green. So now we'll go over to here, and we'll right click. Go on ahead. We'll set it to two. Action 156. Interactive. And the tag is one. And then we'll hit OK. And now you'll notice when you hover over, they are connected to each other. Now, the other thing that I want to showcase is the whole point of why we have these, uh, you know, separate walls here. So I'm just going to actually I want these to be uh, separate textures. Oops. And cancel. And then we're going to right click. And then for the front, we're going to change this to, I'll use this brick here. And we'll hit OK. And then I'll go over here. And I will select these here. Because you'll understand why we have this slight gap between the two here in just a second. Um, it's not it's not entirely necessary. Uh, I, ha I was able to... Uh, I was able to get this to work without it, but it looks so much better with the gap. Um, but it's up to you. Like you could only have this have a gap and this not, but you do need, 
these two points here, these two sectors, they do need to be of the same size. And I'm going to select this sector here, and I'm actually going to make it darker. And, you know, like you're going into the room, the room gets darker. Okay, so if everything's good and everything's done, all we have to do is hit the play button. And we'll turn around. And you can see off in the distance, there's our portal. And we have our ever so lovely um, wall. We don't have our other one, but I know what happened, and it's a really easy fix. Uh, but we can go in, and as you can see, it's uh, quite nice. I mean, it's super, super lovely. I mean, there, there you go. And we're going to exit. So uh, sometimes we make mistakes. Uh, sometimes we make really bad mistakes, and no one was here to catch me on that. So I'm going to right click this here and I'm going to go to properties and I'm just going to zero this out and clear this out and hit OK. Now I'm going to select this one here. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to right click 156, set it to one and then set this to unused, set this to interactive and now they are connected and then we can play. And now we can turn around and we can go in and there we go. Now it is proper. So great little lesson there. It's actually, you know, like I said, these walls are actually not needed, but they do look much better. Um, now, obviously, you would probably not use two random bricks that are just slightly different colors. But again, you know, and as pointed out before, you can just keep, you know, uh, developing this pretty much however you want so go down like so ah why you do this to me why and then we can play it and now we can go through and you can see we're in a completely different area and of course these portals can be literally anywhere on your map uh so you know you can put them literally wherever and the next time we come back to these portals, uh, we're going to do a portal above a room. So, like, we'll have a room we go into and we look up and we can see, oh, you know, there's this space up there. And uh, it'll, it'll make more sense. It's, uh, describing it's probably not really the greatest. But that is how you do... Um, what, I keep forgetting what they're called. Line set portals. I don't know why I keep forgetting what they're they're called. I, I, I literally use them all the time. Um, but that is how you use, uh, line set portals. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have any tutorial suggestions or anything you would like to know, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. If you would like to support the channel, you can become a member, uh, supporting these videos is really quite helpful and it definitely, uh, you can, sorry, I had to actually randomly sneeze there. Um, as I was saying, uh, if you support the channel, you know, it really helps get these videos out and done. And I greatly appreciate your support. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.